Now, automaticity is the ability of the cell to depolarize itself, but I just simply like to say automaticity is the ability of a cardiac cell to initiate an impulse. That's all it is. It initiates an impulse and conduction goes to the cardiac tissue. Which area of the heart is considered the normal pacemaker? Sinus node, SA node, sinus atrial node, correct? But you know, there's all other areas in the heart that can initiate an impulse, correct? Different areas in the atrium, the AV node, that bundle of his, the Purkinje, fibers coming off the bundle branches and the ventricles, they all can be a pacemaker. But ideally, which area of the heart do we want to be the normal pacemaker? The SA node, very good, the sinus node. Now, the, I told you I would just have one slide on the action potential. The action, because it's like yucky. The action potential is simply the depolarization of repolarization of the heart. And it has to do, again, with electrolytes moving in and out of the cell and the magnesium kind of driving this sodium-potassium pump. And there's four phases of it. The first phase is rapid depolarization. The second phase is a plateau. That's that refractory period we talked about. The third phase is rapid repolarization, and then there's actually what we call an electrical diastole. And then we go back to the depolarization phase. That is the action potential, in a nutshell. Now, I'm on, I have Windows 8, and I really don't like Windows 8, and my Adobe player worked great until I got Windows 8, and then when I did, it doesn't work like it should, so I'm gonna have to play with this to get out of it. So this is a great, electrical activity of the heart. Now check it out. Here's the SA node. It fires. The atrium conducted depolarize. There's your AV node, bundle of fist. These are your bundle branches. And these little fingers here are called the Purkinje fibers. Now know, guys, that this is only electrical. It is not mechanical. A pulse is mechanical, correct? So if we have electrical activity of the heart and no pulse, and you get a rhythm on your monitor, but there's no pulse, what do we teach that is in ACLS? PEA, pulseless electrical activity. Very good. Now, did you know that the left bundle branch system has two branches to it? Do you see these two branches here? I'm going to show you with my hands. They're called divisions or fascicles. Anterior division, posterior division. Now, if we get what I call a roadblock, let's say of the right bundle branch, it doesn't conduct. We call that a what? Right bundle branch block. Very good. So what happens is the left ventricle depolarizes through its bundles and Purkinje fibers, and then all the impulses have to go to the right side. So this is a right bundle branch block. Atrium depolarizes and then begin to contract. Left ventricle works through the left bundle system, and then all the impulses go to the right. So would you agree with me, left, then right, that that is a dyssynchrony? They're not working together, agreed? Normally they should work together, correct? This is synchrony, okay. Well, if we reverse it, and we say that we get a roadblock way up high in the left bundle branch system, before these branches bifurcate, that is a what? Left bundle branch block, very good, so here we go. Atrium depolarize and contract. Right bundle's working, right ventricle, then everything goes to the left. So this is a left bundle branch block. Atrium, right, left. Now, have any of you heard of the term hemiblock or fascicle block? That is simply a block of one of the branches on the left. So simply it's either a left anterior hemiblock or a left posterior hemiblock. Now, in my EKG class, I teach hemi blocks and bundle branch blocks, but I will tell you that we know that bundle branch blocks make the QRS wide. Agree? Hemi blocks don't. The only thing hemi blocks do, besides change your QRS pattern, is they cause the dreaded A word or axis deviation. Have any of you ever learned axis? Have you tried to learn axis? We're going to learn it today in about five minutes using our thumbs. And it's really fast, and you don't have to understand it to do it. So that's what we're going to do.